Now, Libra is being called a simple global currency, but it's actually pretty complex. This is how it's going to work. To access it, you need software. And this is what Facebook's version of that looks like. It's called Calibra. And when it launches next year, it'll integrate Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. So in theory, you can send money just like you would send an emoji. So that's what users are going to see. And here's what's going on behind the scenes. Essentially, Libra is a cryptocurrency, a digital coin that exists on a blockchain. But it's different from the other cryptocurrencies we know, like Bitcoin. And here's why. It's reserve backed. So it's backed by real world assets. Every Libra coin will be matched by these real world assets. And those are going to be a basket of bank deposits and short term government securities, probably US treasuries. Now that is, is designed to make it stable, low volatility assets. It's essentially what's been called a stable coin. And that is also different from Bitcoin, where we've seen these wild swings in the price uh, really ever since that, uh, that currency started. Now, it's also designed to be low cost, small fees for cross-border transfers. Facebook says it will use the interest from the reserve of those assets to keep fees low for users of Libra. Now, it's also supposed to be fast. We know that the system, when it comes to Bitcoin, became increasingly clunky because it, it was overloaded. This will handle, Facebook says, 1,000 transactions per second at launch. Now, the big concern with all of this is how much power is Facebook going to have? It's already under scrutiny for its influence over society and its handling of customer data. Now, when it comes to the currency Libra, Facebook says it has no more power than any of the other 27 partners, companies like Vodafone, like Visa, Lyft, eBay, Uber, all of those companies have an equal vote. Facebook only controls the subsidiary Calibra. And when it comes to data, they say that the user data from Facebook will be kept separate from the financial data from Calibra. Now, of course, for this whole project to succeed when it launches next year, building trust in this system will be crucial. Claire Sebastian, CNN, New York.